Okay, so the next topic is about internal controls in a personal computer. Okay, so personal computers or PCs, these are economical yet self-contained general purpose computers which uh, consist uh, typically of the CPU, memory, monitor, disk drives, printer, cables, and modems. So the programs and data are stored in a removable or non-removable storage media. Okay, so we all know what PCs are, okay? A personal computer can be used in various configurations. So it can be a standalone workstation that is operated by a single user or it can also be used by other users at different times. It can also be a workstation which is a part of the local area network of the personal uh, computers and a workstation that is connected also to a server. So internal controls in a PC uh, environment are the following. So organizational policies and procedures that must be followed. So it must be clearly defined. Physical security for the equipment uh, if it uh, is removable and non-removable. Program and data security, so it has to install okay, this type of uh, security pass so that only those who are authorized can access the computer, uh, as well as hardware, software, and data backups. Okay, so it can it should include such okay, in the PC. Okay, so those only are for the PC uh, environment. This is in the case for a smaller client where they only have one computer. For internal controls in an online computer system, okay, so online computer systems are computer systems that enable users to access the data and programs directly through the different workstations. So in this setting, it, uh, it allows users to initiate various functions directly, okay. So such function would include entering transactions, for example, sales transactions in a retail store, uh, cash withdrawals in a bank, and shipment of goods in a warehouse. Okay, so meaning in different locations. Uh, another function is making inquiries, such as for current bank account balance information. Requesting reports, for example, list of inventory items on hand. Updating the master files or setting up new customer accounts. Okay, so those are for uh, different functions in an, internal, uh, in an online computer system. Uh, type, there are also different types of workstations that may, be, uh, that may be used in the online computer system. So we have general purpose terminals. So we have the basic keyboard and monitor only. So these are used for entering the data without any validation within the terminal for displaying data from the computer system to or on the monitor. Uh, another is intelligent terminal. So this is used for functions of the basic keyboard and monitor with additional functions of validation of the data okay, within this terminal. So maintaining transaction logs and performing other local processing okay, needs validation. Another is personal computers. So they can use, uh, these are uh, used for all the functions of an intelligent terminal with additional local processing and storage capabilities. Uh, for the special purpose terminals, okay, so meaning in the general purpose, um, any types of transactions can be uh, input. Another, uh, for the second uh, type of workstation is a special purpose terminal. So an example of this is the POS or point of sale devices. So this is used to record sales transactions as they occur and also used to transmit them to the main computer. Okay, so this is normally uh, what we see in the uh, counter, okay, counters of uh, or cashier in a department store or grocery store. Automated teller machine, ATM. Okay, so this is used to initiate, validate, record, transmit, and complete various ba banking transactions. Another is handheld wireless devices. So these are normally used for entering data from remote uh, locations. Voice response systems. So this is used to allow user interaction with the computer over a telecommunications network, which is also based on verbal instructions that is issued by the computer. So those are the different types of workstation in an online computer system. Okay, so we also have the different uh, types of online, uh, another type, I mean, 
of online computer systems are the following aside from general and special purpose terminals. So we have the online real-time processing. So this is a system where the individual transactions are entered at workstations, validated and used to update related computer files immediately. So we already have the idea of what online real-time is. Okay, we have this discussion in our previous video lecture in the basic uh, computer concepts. Another type of uh, online computer system is online or batch processing. So this is a system where the individual validation checks and uh, added to a transaction file that contains other transactions are entered during uh, the period. But of course, these are automatically updated, but the processing is made uh, with the similar transactions altogether. Okay. Another is online memo update or this is the subsequent processing. So this is a system that combines online, real-time processing and the online batch processing. So the individual transactions immediately update a memo file that contains information which has been extracted from the most recent version of the master file. So combination of the two. Another is online inquiry. So this is a system that restricts users at workstations of to making inquiries to the master file. For this is um uh, used for security purposes. Okay. So another is uh online downloading processing. So this refers to the transfer of data from a master file to a workstation for further processing by the user. Okay, and lastly is online uploading processing. So this refers to the transfer of processed data from remote workstation to the master file. Okay, so opposite of up, uh, downloading processing. Okay, so those are the internal controls in an online computer system. Okay.